there was no challenge greater than the Robert F. Kennedy side. I was asked to do two major works in the embassy ballroom where he was killed, which was going to become a library for high school students. My challenge was how could you commemorate this moment in which really leadership in America transformed? I mean, imagine today in the climate we're living in, someone saying from the position of great leadership, and I paraphrase, he says this in South Africa, he said, each time a man stands for another man's lot, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope taken from a million different centers of energy that can bring down the mightiest walls of oppression. We're talking about building the mightiest walls of oppression. How different is that, right? That's what has happened in the change that we have witnessed. So that was the job. And could that space transform from anything but the sight of this terrible murder and the loss of this idea? So one piece is called Tiny Ripples of Hope. The other is called Seeing Through Others' Eyes. And together, they have a dialogue with each other in a hundred-foot room. They speak to each other across the space. Tiny Ripples of Hope is about the ideas that Kennedy propagated. Bobby Kennedy was a person that people reached out to. There was image after image of people reaching to him with their hands, trying to touch him. And Bobby Kennedy himself was going through this incredible transformation as he was running for president. He was looking at what it meant to be a different kind of leader. But the second piece, seeing through others' eyes, is about all the issues that we face. Kennedy was talking to us in the 60s. He said we faced war. We faced health care crisis. We faced poverty and intolerance, bad education, the failure of education, and the challenge to our environment. Could it be more accurate than what we face today? So each piece in the Lotus Blossom holds one of those stories, one of those ideas. So that's how I managed to um, try to approach it. Really difficult, took almost three years, and uh, I'm very, very proud of that work.